Some of us are getting these little seed packets in the mail into the night. The Department of Agriculture says don't plant them. Yeah, the main reason here is that not really sure what those seeds are. New specialist Alex Cabrero live at the Department of Ag tonight. Now, Alex, where are these seeds even coming from? Uh, Mike, they're coming from other countries, mostly China. Now, they come in little packets like these, and the people who get them, well, they didn't order them. This is getting enough attention that the Department of Agriculture, Customs, even Homeland Security, all those agencies are looking into this. It takes a lot of time to make a garden good. I love to garden, absolutely. But ask Tina Peterson. That everything tastes better when it comes out of your garden. And she'll tell you her bountiful garden is worth every minute. It's not only peaceful, but it is something that I would actually say has a physical health component to it. She also spends a lot of time researching what to put in her garden. I'm one of those uh, research-aholics, if you, if you want to call it that. Which is good, especially after the odd packet of seeds she recently received from China that she didn't order. They look just a little bit like spinach seeds, the, the seeds that I received, but not quite like spinach seeds, so I was a little bit suspicious. But what really set me off was the fact that they were labeled as earring studs. So she contacted Utah's Department of Agriculture, and it turns out she's not alone. So far, we've heard from about 125 people. Today, leaders from Utah's Department of Ag held a news conference to ask people who receive these seeds to not plant them. As a department, we are concerned because foreign plant material may pose a threat to Utah's private and public lands by introducing invasive species that can disrupt the ecosystem. But the big question, why would someone send so many seeds to people who didn't order them? At this time, we do not have any evidence to indicate that this is something other than a brushing scam where people receive unsolicited items from sellers who then post false customer reviews to uh, boost their sales. For Peterson, she's just happy she didn't plant them, not knowing what they were. I know exactly what I want in my garden, and I only plant what I want in my garden. Now, if you do get these seeds in the mail, the Department of Ag says don't throw them away. Instead, they would like you to mail the seeds and the packaging to the Department of Agriculture. And if you can't mail them, you can roast them in your oven 200 degrees for 40 minutes. And if you already planted them, they say you can dig them up, put them in a plastic bag, and then throw them away. But, Mike, if this indeed is just something, a scam to increase online review scores, it is certainly getting a lot of attention. Yeah. And if you're roasting them, don't put butter and salt on them, right? That's right. Don't even do it. Just kill those things <laughs> right. off. All right, Alex, thank you.